instantly came back and was just, oh, oh my gosh, it's so terrible. His eyes were watering everything. Yeah. Like, it can't be that bad. So then I did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's like when somebody says, this stinks. Take a whiff. And you, you do. Smell, you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Inspired by the adventures of our nurses, therapists, and techs, A Beer with Atlas is the only healthcare traveling, craft beer drinking podcast. Each week, we'll open a few beers, talk about the brewery and the style of beer, and then dive into some research curated specifically for each episode. In the end, we hope each one sounds like a conversation you'd have with your friends while enjoying a few cold ones. Pucker up. Yeah, I didn't even know where I was going with that. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of A Beer with Atlas. I'm Rich. I'm Brian. I'm Dolan. Oh, I say that because uh, this Christmas, this past Christmas, uh, I got a gift uh, from Natalie and Tyler Brungard. They are uh, family members, uh, Jenny's cousin, Nat- Natalie. And uh, Tyler, is a he, he's a beer guy with us, loves, uh, loves cross train and uh, they found these beers for me through some, I don't even know, some, some online site. Some back channels. Yeah, yeah. She found she found them, figured out how to order them. Uh, we had posted this not too long ago on Facebook. The Artisanal Brew Works. Artisanal? Is that, yeah. Yeah. We'll go with that. Artisanal Brew Works Warheads Extreme Sour. So mm. made with Warheads candies. And it's like legit. Oh, They've been blessed to use the name and the image, I'm guessing. Well, I got some research on that, okay, quite good, honestly. So good. yeah. Uh, so let's let's open one of these up and then let's start and on I got I got some information about the brewery. Which uh, color green. should we go with? We have three flavors yep. for those out there listening to this. Green let's... apple, black cherry, blue raspberry, mm-hmm. which is totally natural. <laughs> let's go um let's go in alphabetical order. All right, black cherry first then. Super Sour Warhead. Oh, oh boy. This is beer, huh? This is beer. Okay. It's got some, yeah. It, it's, oh, wow. Look at that. There's no There's no uh, bitterness. There's no uh, IBUs to this whatsoever. It looks like Kool-Aid, quite honestly. I, I, it's. Yes, it does. It's like a purple. Plum Almost purple. like plumish. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a plum color. Kind of reminds me of that. Remember that Wisconsin red oh, one yeah. that we had? Yeah, way back, like in the, when our, within our first ten episodes like or so, the the one from the downtown, oh, the yeah, cherry yeah. was it a cherry limeade one? A berry, a berry lime Weiss, something like that. Yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah, it looked like that, that color. One. Yep. All right, let's let's mm. give this one a shot. So, made with Warheads candy. I smell the cherry. It smells like black cherry. Don't got Corona. Mm. Oh. Yep, that's sour. It's sour, but it's surprisingly nice. It's not puck or warhead sour. No. No. But it's kind of the flavor after you get all of the sourness off of it, you know, mm-hmm. when you have it in your mouth for a mm. while. and Tastes like black cherry right away. Then it's it like punch, mm-hmm. a little sour. And then it's like, see you later. And it goes away. Mm-hmm. And then it just kind of is dryish at the end, like most sour beers are. It is. Kind of, yeah. There is um, a weird dryness at mm, the end. That's That's nice. So, Artisanal Brew Works is located at 615 Maple Avenue, Saratoga Springs, New York. Where is Saratoga Springs? Do we know? I, I don't... I feel like that's uh, north... Northwest. Like, like Syracuse? Towards, yeah, that area, that. maybe, but I don't know for sure. Hmm. Closed on Monday, as any good brewery should be. Tuesday through Thursday, 3 to 7. Friday, 3 to 8. Saturday, noon to 8. Sunday, noon to 4. Uh... This was actually this beer right here. So the Warheads collab was the most Googled beer in 2020. Wow. Hmm. And I went straight to Google for I'm like, okay, I can fact check this. This is an easy one to, to yeah. check. Sure enough, there were multiple articles written about it. And it, it multiple articles said this this was the most Googled beer of 2020. Hmm. What, why do you think that is? Because it's weird. I mean, I, yeah, but there's more weirder beers out there. Do you think it's because it's mainstream weird though, right? Yeah. I mean, I wonder it, if it happens because it's on the East Coast and there's so many beer brewery beer people out there. Maybe I don't know. Maybe or you can't get it. You've seen it. It was on social media. I'm sure. 
I think that probably had something to do with it. I, I have a feeling like the uh, pickle beer was somewhere close to that. Yeah. The uh, best made or whatever. Uh, yeah. The best made one. Yeah. The one that Dolan likes so much. Uh, n- uh, did I like that one? Yeah. Well, it's pickles. I can't remember. I assumed I, you did. I know that there's one pickle one out there that I can't stand. Mm. I don't think it was that Weird. one. Mm. No, I think this is one that we were like, let's drive to Texas and get some more. Yeah. Oh, sure. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Okay. I did like that one. We had a good Texas run there for a while. Yeah, we did. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Heather Kylan. Uh, made in collaboration with Impact Confections, the creators of Warhead Candy. So it's truly a Warhead beer. That's cool. I mean, most of the things that we see... It's like knockoffs and like, you know, <laughs> homages, we'll say, please on the labels. Please don't sue us. Uh-huh. Right. Uh, this one is the, the real deal. I'm thinking of like the Cinnamon Toast Crunch beer. That, <laughs> yeah. Remember that one? Yeah. And some of the other ones that are around here yeah. you know, in Iowa, there was a brewery that was doing those that was getting in trouble a little bit. But yeah. We have a Payday one or a Tootsie Roll one or which one am I thinking of? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Was there one? Like yeah. That? Yeah. We oh, had a... Oh, we was, did. It was yeah. a candy... I, I can't remember which one candy it was. Bar? Um, it was, oh gosh, yeah, I can't remember which one it was. Almond yeah. Joy. That's, yes. that's, that's what it was. was. Yeah. Yeah. The guys in Iowa, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Wasn't it or South Dakota, one of the two? I yeah, I can't remember. remember. I just remember, yeah, that it's like a big thing, which is fun. So it's just cool that it's actually legitimately mm-hmm. them. Because, I mean, it's the logo. It's legit oh, yeah. the mm-hmm. Warheads logo on there. Which is surprising to me that they can do it because it's candy. <laughs> and then, you know, there's some, I'm going to be a 1992 parent right now. I don't want my kids to see that. They might right. think they can drink that thing. What do they call them back? The Alco Pops or whatever they call yeah. them. The, yeah, when wine coolers were so big. Mm-hmm. Who mm-hmm. knows? Because it's craft and it isn't widely available. So there's some, maybe there's, I, it, I don't hey, know. Hey, if your kid has $50 for a four pack, go ahead and let him drink it. That's what I say. <laughs> Look, they got to learn somehow, right? Mm-hmm. 5% ABV uh, comes in five different flavors. Blue raspberry, lemon, black cherry, watermelon, and green apple. Mm. So hmm. we did not. I I uh, I had one when they gave them to me for Christmas. I of course had to open. one. It would be rude not to. I was so excited. Yeah. I was like, dude. I was like a kid getting new GI Joes, like a twelve year old getting new GI Joes on Christmas. I mean, wow. that's how excited I was mm. when I opened these up. So I, I, I was, yeah. So and we had one. It was fantastic. The watermelon was so good. It was good. Was it like Jolly Rancher watermelon? Yes. Okay. Yes. So candy. Mm, but yeah. sour and... Oh, yeah. Jeez, yeah. We're not getting like, quote, fruit flavors in here. We're getting candy fruit flavors. Absolutely. Yeah. Which this, is great. This yeah. is not black cherry fruit. It's yeah. black cherry candy. Yeah. Flavor, which is... Oh, boy. Again, 12-year-old boy, right? I mean, I just... Yep. Yeah. I'm all about this. And it's 5%. So usually and these are like three or four percent. So mm. it's refreshing, though. Yeah, I yeah, mean it's not bad. This would be really bad. good on a hot day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I couldn't find when they were founded. Uh, it was founded by two guys, Kurt Borchard, B O R C H A R D T, which is funny because Natalie and Tyler Brungart. Oh, it's close. Gave me these beers, yeah. right? So that's mm-hmm. kind of fun. And Colin Quinn. Not of remote control. Oh. No, I knew. See, I knew <laughs> Saturday it. Night Live. I knew you would. Uh, you would say that. Yep. Isn't it funny? You remember him from Saturday Night Live, and I remember him from well, remote you know, control. That we're showing our age a little bit. Right. Couldn't find the year that they were uh, that this was founded or whatever. They've been around for a little while. Uh, Kurt was a former engineer for International Paper and General Electric, which is mm. kind of fun. Uh, he did that for like 13 years. He was a home brewer for a number of years. Uh, played hockey, was a competitive rower for a while, which wow. I guess on the East Coast is something. I mean, That's I guess, a sport, yeah. I guess. I don't know. Do you go to an Ivy League college for that? You can. Well, I guess. Sure. Uh, so, but now he, they're very tongue-in-cheek on their website, which is kind of fun. I guess it kind of goes with the with the Warheads <laughs> mm. stuff. Uh, it said he's a former hockey player and a competitive rower. Now he's working on his dad bod mm. or his brewer bod. Yeah, so I know what that bod looks right? like. Right? Yeah. So that's uh, Colin has been. A, he was a teacher for twenty years. He traveled abroad, and that's how he kind of got introduced to beers. It was just him traveling around. Sure. Uh, twenty five years worth of brewing experience brought him back to beers like this. Like, I guess after a while, you just get tired of brewing pilsners and lagers, and mm-hmm. yeah, you're like what the hell else could I do with this? That, or you go all the way around and come back to it. <sighs> Depends on how long yes. you've been doing it, I guess. Right. 
So, so a teacher and an engineer. Teacher and engineer. Home brewers together. both. They walked into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> and made beer, I guess. I guess, yeah. So that's what I know about the brewery and the founders. Okay. Super Sour Warheads. Here's their current tap list. They have five different IPAs. I was okay. Like, okay, well, I was not expecting that. No. Have all the flavors of this sour stuff. Mm-hmm. So that's there all the time. They have what they called a barrel aged cherry cordial. So it's oh. like a Belgian beer. Oh. That was barrel aged and uh, I think was over a year, it sounded like. Did it say what kind of barrels or just barrel aged? Just, just, I would guess something probably bourbon ish. Okay. Um, maybe rum to kind of mm. counteract with, with the sweetness of that Belgian beer. So yeah. enhance that a little bit. Something caramely would be my guess. Then you could get um, mixed four packs of this, of these cans. So they have, what did I say, six flavors? Five. Five, five. from what I found, yes. Five flavors. So you can pick four of the five and make a mixed four pack. Or you could do three of one and one, however you want to do it. Interesting. They let you do that there, which isn't totally common at most places. They don't usually have singles that you can buy. Mm-hmm. Uh, they had multiple Infinities Churro, which was like a stout. Cinnamony, kind of yeah. creamy stout. Interesting. And then there is one... Um, it was another sour. It was called She's Tart, or maybe it's Tart, T-A-R-T, Prickly and Pink. Oh. So maybe some prickly pear involved mm. with that one. We've had some mm. prickly pear yes, beers. we yeah. have. So that's a, another flavor. So it, it sounds like they're fun and, uh, you know, like not trying to make the normal stuff. They're just well whatever they want to make, obviously with this. But. Right. I mean, prickly pear beer on tap, but you don't see that everywhere. I don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. We need to open the next one here. Which, blue raspberry or green Let's apple? Let's go green apple, I feel oh. like. I feel like oh. maybe it's going to let me down. We'll see. Okay. Green apple is my favorite fruit. I love green apples. Really? Oh. I'm a Granny Smith guy. Granny Smith is your jam. All day, every day. Oh, look at the weird color oh, on boy. this. <laughs> that That's looks a... like a melted candy. <sighs> This looks like you you had a really bad night of drinking and the next day something that bad. That was in the toilet. That happened. Yes, that's mm-hmm. exactly what that is. Like maybe too many green beers yes. the night mm. before. St. Yeah. Patrick's Day. I just had that not too long ago. Quite <laughs> that's that's, that's why it came to your mind, I guess. Yeah. Well, the one place I... It, they didn't have kegs of green beers. They just had like a little squirt bottle full of oh, green. Yeah. And they just... <laughs> and squirted it into the glass and then yeah. mixed it around. And, Ooh, that was sour. The last little... It was sour. Oh, it'll do that. Woo. I don't know if it was extreme sour, but it was <laughs> that one puckered me a little bit. I'm gonna wait for you guys on this because this All smells right. way different than the uh, yeah it does right it, it, more candy apple so, yeah it smells like a sucker. Super sour warheads. Um, I did some research on actual warheads. Oh. So obviously, I, we had to kind of know about that, right? I kind of figured you would, yeah. I, I thought I'd, I'd better since it's actually on the <laughs> can. Um, they used to be called Mega Warheads. I remember this. Um, they were, did we say Impact Confections? Uh-huh. Janesville, Wisconsin. So Weird. when I think of candy, I think of Janesville, Wisconsin. I guess. Um, in 1999, the brand was worth $40 million. Warheads, the brand? Yes, Wow, that's, that's pretty ridiculous. good. That's ridiculous. Uh, it was invented in Taiwan in 1975, and then it was imported to the United States in 1993 by the foreign candy company of Hull, Iowa. What? Yeah, Hull, Hull Iowa. H O H U H U L L. Hull. H U O Hull. Hull. Like Iowa. Bobby, the the hockey player, hockey player not, or oh, Brett, or yeah. Brett. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thank Wasn't there so, a Bobby too? No. I think was his, his dad. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. So anyway, uh, yeah, I was in 93, and that's about the time it hits. I remember being in junior high, oh. and these things were like everywhere, yes. kind of. Yeah. You couldn't, if you saw them, you bought them out, yep. you took them to school, yeah. and you sold them. I would think, huh. like, okay, so as much as we got them like in high school, junior high, like Dolan got these in like grade school, this has been like, this has been like currency. It's if, probably why he has chest hair. Is from all these warheads. <laughs> <laughs> is my guess, right? You know, we got warhead. So we got a choice of warheads or lemon drops when we did mm. tests in elementary school. 
Oh, Weird. yeah. So I guess there's something stimulating there. It's like chewing gum while you take a test, I guess. Is... See, we were back and we had to use actual pencils on our mm. test. We didn't have this <laughs> crazy, here's some sugar. Here's your number two pencil. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, so you can make sure it's sharpened. Get two or three warheads or like five or six lemon drops. Wow. Okay. Well, yeah. well, we're taking a test right now. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> here, take a second and try this because this is okay. my favorite so far. This is better than watermelon. This is better than black cherry. This is candy all the way. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Right. Right. It's more. Yeah, it's definitely candy. Mm-hmm. Finishes candy. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's as sour, though, is it? It's less sour than the other one, but it has different flavor. It's more tart. Yes. It's like well, just all the way. I mean, it's like a green apple. That's like what it. you get from a green apple. Please continue. Okay. Um, Impact then bought the brand in 2004, and they now make it in Wisconsin, but they also have a factory in Australia. Oh. So they're making it so it can get around the world, I guess. Okay. Do you know what the guy's name is on the can? The Warhead guy? Yeah. No, no. His name's Wally Warhead. <laughs> <laughs> He's the mascot. Well, uh, they have no imagination, I guess. <laughs> there, I mean, it's alliteration, and I'm a fan of that. Okay. Um, malic acid, M-A-L-I-C, is what gives the candy its sourness. Okay. And that's very similar when you break down the chemistry to like what makes sour beer sour. So it's probably one of the reasons that it works so well. That it works well, yeah. Um, this is probably their biggest selling thing at the at the place the warheads yeah okay so it's it's pretty popular we talked about earlier it was super searched on the internet Mm -hmm. um one of the things they think makes it so popular is people like us remember it from being a kid well yeah and now we're you know we're into beer and we've got a couple of dollars in our pocket let's go get that thing that reminds us of our childhood so probably why it's it's uh resonating so well within the craft beer world um that makes a lot of sense one of the things that made the candy popular was, maybe this is something you remember, Rich, people would have, or kids, I guess, back then would have contests to see who could take as many at the, as one time. Oh, yeah. So you'd get like, oh, I can take six of those things, and you'd, hold, and you'd see if you'd hold it for as long as you could. And if you puked, you were out. Yep. <laughs> that was no good. But that was a big thing. But I remember in junior high, kids would go to the store um, and buy them in bulk and then bring them to school and sell them for like 10 cents a piece or whatever. Cause oh, sure. whenever they were at the store, people would buy them mm-hmm. and they were all gone. Wasn't there another, not warhead, but there was something around the same time that was like a tear jerker. Do you yeah, remember that? Yeah. I feel like those were sour, like pretty sour. There was a competitor for sure. But I, I, don't, I don't think that that one is around anymore. They definitely won the sour wars. Yeah. If there was such a thing, right? Uh, well, mm. there must've been cause they're not around anymore. Did you look and see what other candies they made? I wrote down some other stuff, yes. Okay, interesting. So I wrote down, they made something else called Smash Up Extreme Sours. Oh. So these were, like Dolan was talking about earlier, these aren't probably natural. You're not going to find these in the rainforest, some of these combinations. (laughs) (laughs) But there's things that go together very well. So there's a cherry lime. Mm. Then there's orange pineapple. Okay, yeah. There's mango melon. Mango. Mango. Strawberry grape. That doesn't seem like it goes together. Yeah, I wouldn't think. It depends on what grape. I guess. Maybe like red. White, like like yeah. a white grape? Or green? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and then lemon berry. Yeah. I've seen that flavor yeah. a okay. lot. Yeah, okay. And we're going to we're gonna put a fork in that, that flavor. Okay. Uh, then they also made hot versions. Mm. <laughs> They're like spicy candy. This is Dolan's Avenue right, right? here. Right? Yeah. And it was some of the same flavors. But instead of being sour, they were like hot and spicy. Hot? Whoa. And they tanked. What? <laughs> Probably too soon. Mm. Maybe in the marketplace today, that would go over because everybody's mm-hmm. in the hot sauce and okay. hot yeah. stuff. Yeah. But all I can think of is like those hot cinnamon candies, you know? Oh, hot t- hot tamales? Is yeah, or the like round ones. Red hot. Fireballs oh, or whatever oh, yeah, they're called. Yeah, Atomic yeah. fireballs. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's what I think of when I think of mm-hmm. like hot candy. And that doesn't really taste that good. So no. I guess maybe it's why I, it's it just work it's out. just a huge punch of cinnamon. Like I don't know. Like yeah. I've had actual like like hot candy from like Mexico where they have like the 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 it would be like a green apple sucker like this beer that mm-hmm. we're drinking and then it's coated in just like chili powder and lime salt. That sounds like it would be all right. It's super good because it's kind of spicy, mm. salty, and then mm-hmm. you get and then you get the sweet, sweet. after it's all gone. Kind of like the Warheads where it's super mm. sour and then. 
the sour goes away and it's yeah. super super sweet and good and i see but i grew up on hot tamales yeah i yeah. love i love hot tamales to this day hot tamales are great except after about <laughs> Two handfuls, you got to take your finger and scrape your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. I loved Mike and Ike. Yeah. yeah or the too. Cherry and Bub. Remember Cherry and yeah. Bub? That yeah. was amazing. Cherry uh, and bubblegum flavor. Uh-huh. Hmm. Ooh, they don't make it no more. Jolly Joes. Remember the Jolly Joes? I do remember those. The purple ones? Yeah. Yeah, they were just grape flavored. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then if you were really bad, you got the Mike, like those uh, Good and Plenties. Oh. Those are terrible. <laughs> I love Good and Plenties. I'm sure you did. I, I was black licorice. Look, I grew up on theater candy, right? I mean, that yeah. was every. They Thursday. probably still make those. I'm guessing. Yeah, right? that was the rule. Like we couldn't have candy at the theater, right? I mean, because we 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 were at the theater every night. Sure, my, my parents. Yeah, right. that's probably why you have teeth now. Right. Good that, rule. They were pretty smart. Yeah, couldn't have pop all the time. Every once in a while, you could have pop. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then Thursdays was candy night, so you could choose oh. one candy to have on Thursday, and yeah. that was the shit, man. So what did you always pick, or did you always <sighs> change it up? You know, I always kind of changed it up. I good and plenty's a lot. I really like mm. those. Uh, snow caps were always good. Whoa, uh, old school. Yeah, Juji fruits. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember okay. those. Um, yeah, I, uh, good thing you never said. Mint? Did you did you do the mint? The junior mints? The junior mints? Uh, every once in a while. My dad was a fan of the junior mm. mint. My dad was a fan of it, and I always got stuck eating it. And I mm. think chocolate and mint is the worst combo in the world. Really? I love that combo. I, mm. Yeah. Super Sour Warhead. That, that's going to bring me to a question for you, okay. for you guys. Okay. What's your... Favorite mm. pop culture candy moment because that's mine. Junior Mints, the Junior Mint from Seinfeld episode from Seinfeld mm-hmm. where he drops them in. Yeah, oh my god. Uh, yeah. Explain pop culture candy moment. Oh yeah. So that is uh, somebody's having surgery. I don't remember who. Uh, one of their friends. Or one something? of their friends. Yeah. And they somehow get to go in the gallery and watch the surgery. So uh-huh. they're like up looking down. Oh. Well, when yes. Kramer decides this is like a movie, <laughs> I'm going to bring in candy. And he has the Junior Mints. Yeah. And he's like trying to get Jerry to take one, and Jerry's pushing it back. And they push it too hard, and they go, and they fall into the open cavity of the yeah. guy. And then they like, so doesn't the person die later? No, no. He, or, he, or he got sick some, for he, some reason? He doesn't they, quite recover, and they're all worried about it. And they think him. it was because of the Junior Mints that got inside there. And then they're all worried, and then yeah. all of a sudden he makes a full recovery, yeah. and they're like, it was because of the Junior Mint. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why. Because that's every time I hear that, I think of, yeah, the candy. Slow motion. Yep. And he's like, ooh. <laughs> and it falls into the guy's cavity. And it goes cavity. into the open cavity. Yeah. yeah. I, ironically, my favorite Seinfeld, too, it's the uh, Juji Fruits. When Elaine is uh, supposed to meet her boyfriend at the theater and finds out he's in a car accident. Oh. And she buys the Juji Fruits anyway and then goes and is like eating them. <laughs> and he's like, wait a minute. Did you you had time to get you bought those you heard I was in a car accident and yeah. you still stopped and bought Juji fruits before yeah that's yeah. <laughs> yeah the other good one with her was the what was it the Seidler or whatever she gives him the mints <sighs> the Tic Tacs so he can hear him coming because mm-hmm. he's always right there taking all the credit for everything she does at work yep so yeah. she gives him Tic Tacs interesting I don't I don't think sneak. I have a pop culture candy moment mm-hmm. I'm, I'll tell you my favorite candy and that's, okay we'll okay, go with that's that fine. that's fine. that's Reese's. Man, yeah, I Reese's can, peanut butter cups. Peanut butter cups. Okay, yeah. that's a legit. I can I could eat those all day. Yeah, I mean they do not. We'll buy a bag of them. And they just will even the mixed ones. Mm. Sam and I will pick out the Reese's, and all that's <laughs> left over is like the small Kit Kats and Crunch Bars or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Throw that in the trash. Yeah, <laughs> I heard they were making um, a Reese's carrot. So you know how they make the Reese's eggs? Yes. Well, the carrot is twice as big. Oh, okay. Interesting. Give me that, please. Mm. And they also have the new peanut butter only Reese's. Have you seen that? No. No. It's just the inside. There's no chocolate. It's just the peanut <laughs> yes. butter. See, but that's like the Milky Way all caramel. It's not Milky Way at that point. Yeah. How would you yeah. eat that all caramel? It would just mm. be like 10 foot string. <laughs> right. I don't know. No, thanks. That's a great segue. Okay. Because look what I've got on my research here. What you got? The top 10... Sour candies. Okay. So this is by sales, or they had a uh, like a little survey. You could rate your favorites. So some of these, I was like, this isn't candy or sour stuff, but it's in here, so we'll talk about it. Number one, Warheads, obviously. Obviously. Mm-hmm. It's the sourest all-around candy, and it's also the sourest candy in the world, they say. It has malic acid, as we talked about before, and citric acid. also has low pH, 
which we know is something that's involved with sour beers. So that's something that works either way, and that's why it pairs very well. Okay. Um, number two, Sour Patch Kids. Now that's oh, something mm-hmm. I would get at the movie theater. Yep. Those are yep. Those are my go-to. Those have three kinds of acid. This is why they're really good for your teeth. <laughs> Citric acid, tartaric or tart eric acid, and then fumaric acid. It's right in the name. Yes, it's tart. Tart mm. acid. Um, three. I had never seen these before. Toxic waste candy. Yes. It comes in like a garbage can, yeah. doesn't it? It comes in a garbage can. It has the toxic waste symbol on it. Yeah. And then right like right on the lobel. Oh, you've had the, it. Dolan, you've had it. I feel like this is really familiar, but I don't know if I've had it. I think it's because I used to stock it at the gas station. Mm. Could be. So like right on the on the packaging it shows like fifteen seconds. If you can only last fifteen seconds, you're a wuss. Hmm. And if you can keep it in your mouth for sixty seconds, you're a hero. And then it says right on there, it's you can eat your tooth enamel. It's, oh, wow, duh. So Nice. Yes. You know, maybe brush your teeth after that. Mm. Number four, sour Skittles. Yeah. Are they sour? I don't think I've ever had sour I've Skittles. Had, um... I have a story about sour Skittles. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's hear it. <laughs> so sophomore year of high school, we were in our chemistry class, and we had broken up into labs or whatever. We were. It was in the middle of us doing, like, the, the pH you know mm-hmm. stuff yeah like finding the ph of different liquids yeah. or whatever um and use those strips or whatever yeah the yeah. ph slips you drop it in there and find out whatever yep. uh well as everybody was working i was always that guy oh boy. right and so we had um some sour skittles and uh we ate them we were eating them through the labs i think there's like i don't know 12 labs we'd go in order or whatever test the ph whatever mm-hmm. so by the time we got to like the seventh or eighth lab we had finished the skittles between me and a friend of mine and uh i looked at him I'm like i bet you you won't snort the the skittle oh. powder oh no <laughs> oh boy oh wow. <laughs> so well, uh duh, of course he does this yeah right? so I mean, so it wouldn't he, be a story if he just right. said so yeah he, you're right so he opens up the uh this the the rest of the package and just kind of scrapes all the powder out on sure. the table and there was a lot of it like there was more than i thought that oh was boy. going to be in this in this and as packet. a good friend you're like that's too much don't do that oh yeah so i i did i did i did, I did the whole thing i got out you know a card i was oh putting boy. it in a line oh for him, just like how i saw in the movies oh, you sure. know <laughs> oh. he, he watched Breaking Bad. He yeah. understands how it works. Yeah, wow. so I put it in a line. I said, "Okay, now snort the whole line or whatever." Oh. And he immediately went, touched it with his nose, like instantly came back and was just, "Oh, oh my gosh, it's so terrible!" His eyes were watering. Everything yeah. like it can't be that bad. So then I did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's like when somebody says, "This stinks." Take a whiff, and you, you do. Smell, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So there is a uh, video. Oh goodness! Out there somewhere oh, on on my my buddy's Facebook, mm. I, that mm. I could probably dig up and show I you. I'm but. so glad that <laughs> there were videos when we were kids. No kidding, because I didn't was, do that with Skittles. It was with Smarties. I did it with uh, uh, the, the what's the 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 lick a stick. Remember those? Oh yeah, the packets. Yep. <laughs> Fun dip. Whatever. Fun dip. That's what it was. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. So we're all dumb. That's what oh, it comes back to. Oh, yeah. Look, that's like a right of Every guy is for snorted any candy. Boy. Yeah. yeah. Right. Every boy has done that. I was going to say, that wasn't the last time I did it. <laughs> Gateway, man. You got oh. hooked. It's dangerous. Uh, number five, Sour Punch Straws. Never heard of these. Yep. Had yes. Those. I, yeah. Yep. I've had those. Lactose free. So if you're a hmm. person that needs that sort of deal, there Weird. you go. Okay. Uh, number mm-hmm. six, Crybaby Tears. No. Five flavors. They're actually shaped like teardrops, which I thought was kind of funny. They look like little uh, sweet tarts, but they're oh. like this bit, like a tiny little bit. Okay. Uh, Dolan mentioned these earlier. Taverner Sour Lemon Drops. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is an old English candy, so it's like a an OG. O-L-D-E? Uh, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> and they're vegetarian, Well, so oh, no. <laughs> there you go. There's no pork in them. There's no uh, well, a lot the of like uh, gelatin, you know, that's like oh, yeah. cow hoof uh, or whatever uh, and stuff. Uh, okay. So that's, those are safe gotcha. for you if you're into that. Sure. Sour nerds. Yeah, had those. I've had those. Yeah. One on the packaging, not sour. Handful, very sour. I'm like, nah, okay. Okay. That's how you eat nerds. Who eats nerds one at a time? I, psychopaths. 
<laughs> what do you use, like a tweezers? I mean, <laughs> that'd take you all day. Separate yeah. them by color. Oh, boy. Are they all the same color now, huh? Mm, I don't know. Well, unless you get the mix-up ones, right? The mix-up, yeah. 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 Number nine, Altoid Sours. I was like, that's not a candy. That's what? a That's like a mint. Okay. That's like a they have breath apple freshener. and lemon. Those are the ones I found. I but just, it's kind of like it has a sour coating, kind of like... If you took a mint and you rolled it in the sugar that's on a Sour Patch Kid, okay. that's kind of what they look like. Mm. Mm. I'm not a fan of that one. This mm. one, this was the best. I don't know why this is not number one. Okay. It probably tastes like shit. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see why I said that. Okay. Because it's called Sour Flush Candy Toilets. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and what it is, is a, to- a plastic toilet. Okay. And inside has that sour powder that's like Fun Dip. Oh, boy. And in, next to the toilet, there's a plunger, quote unquote, but it's a sucker. <laughs> and you lick the plunger and you stuff it in the toilet and you pull it out and then you lick that and that's sour. <laughs> now, how that's not number one, I don't know. That's amazing. That's Man. ingenious marketing. <laughs> sour, flush, candy, toilets. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say about that. I, there's oh, there's two candies that I'm surprised wasn't on there. Um, All right. Hit me. Sweet tarts. I thought, like, they did the sours well, they, for yeah. a while. That's right? just classic, though. Sweet tarts are just classic. Well, I mean, they were everywhere, though. I remember them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, um, yeah. And then the other one was the, um, and I'm blanking on the name, but it was like, it wasn't quite a ring pop, but it looked like the ring pop. And then you had the little sour juice that you would put on. Oh. Hmm. On you, like, the, squirt the sour yeah, juice squirt on the it. Sour juice on it. Yeah, you squirt the sour juice on it, and then. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. I Never can't had remember that. what this I can't remember what those are called. I feel like that was something that you might have had at the st- if you were going at the toy store days. Did mm. you have candy at the store like that? Yeah. Oh, Toys R Us. Back in the Toys R Us yeah. days. Yeah, there was definitely. I feel like that's where you could have maybe found mm. a toilet flush candy. <laughs> well, remember the uh, baby bottle pops? Yeah, I remember. Oh, and they had like a sour yes. version of those too. Yeah, I I was in love with the baby bottle pop. And just yeah, dip it in there. And... In. <laughs> I I want to say I believe baby bottle pops are a production of Tops. The, oh really? The baseball card company. I think oh. they. I mean, they produce a number of candies too. So yeah, they do. Not just that. Yeah. I wish they still made the gum. Mm. It was terrible. It was terrible. Super sour warhead. <laughs> All right, I opened the last one. All so right. the blue raspberry. So you got to. Yeah. Dude, this looks like exactly like a blue Ooh. raspberry sucker or. This one smells more like candy than any other one so Even far. Even more than the apple? Yes. Wow. Yes. Um, Look at is, the color. The I mean, color this is, is unbelievable. This is not natural. You're mm-hmm. right. Wow. <sighs> this color does not exist in nature at all. I don't maybe this maybe some water somewhere. Maybe there's a good untouched mm-hmm. the beach ocean with Leonardo DiCaprio chilling at it. Mm, I think it just looks like the urinal cakes. Mm. <laughs> thanks for thanks yeah. for saying that right, <laughs> right as I'm going to drink. Before you take a drink, because <laughs> mine's got a lot of foam on the top. So, mm. <laughs> <laughs> fun fact: uh, I think recruiter Justin Jones, before he was a recruiter, he uh, he sold urinal cakes. That's Man, weird. If you can sell urinal cakes, yeah. you can be you a can, recruiter. You can do anything. Yeah. That's pretty good. It's good. It's, it's not, not sour. No. None it's of these not, are... Oh, man. It's not what I wanted. None of these are like slap, slap. Green sour. apple was my favorite, I think, out of all of them. I think the cherry was the most sour. Yeah. I think it was two. Out of the mm-hmm. three, yeah. And I can tell you, having drank the watermelon one early, yeah. it wasn't as sour. It was It was more like a Jolly Rancher type of... So if we had to rank them by sourness... Oh, black boy. cherry, probably number one. Black cherry, number one. Look at okay, look at the chemist over here mixing oh, the boy. blue and red well, together. Well, he's that guy. He told us earlier he's got to do experiments right. during lab time. Immediately, I thought red, blue makes purple, and they're both berries. So I'm going to try a berry-flavored one. Oh, really? Okay. Right? Let us know. Yeah. Oh, oh man. The blue food, like, it looks like blue food coloring on top of the, it on the just foam. might be. When I remember the... Um, you would get them in the big packs, the freezer pops, right? Remember the freezer, freezer pops? Yeah. Freezer pops. Blue was always my favorite of the freezer pops. Hmm. And that's what I expected out of this, and I didn't get it. They make those in an adult version now. Yes, they do. They always have them at Costco, I see. Mm. They sell out of them quick. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's uh, it's berry flavored. The blue raspberry is stronger. There's a little bit left in here if you want to mm. try it. I feel like Rich <laughs> might try that. I might. I'm going <laughs> to give that a shot. Yeah, that's... Uh, well, while you're trying that science experiment, I'm going to talk about <laughs> the bonus beer I brought. Oh, okay. 
told us to put a pin in this. This flavor. I actually kind of like that flavor better. You like it better? Just the blue by itself. If they just went with like a straight berry flavor. Yeah, like a mixed right berry. Mixed berry. Mm. That would be better. Ooh. Oh. Close. <laughs> close. <laughs> Haven't spilled it yet. That was close. Um, yeah. I have in my hand a beer from Lincoln, from Code Beer Company. Okay. Mm-hmm. Down the street from us. Berry Lemon Sour. Ooh. Okay. So that was one of the flavors we talked about in the Smash Up Extreme. Yeah. Sour. Yeah. Mm. And I thought, ooh, I have one of these in my fridge. I'll save it. Okay. So these guys have been around for maybe three years down in Lincoln. Mm-hmm. Um, they have only been canning beer probably for a month. I, like I've never seen this can before. They have four different kinds of beer that they're canning currently. Okay. Um, this is my favorite of their beers. Mm. Um, I used to get, my sister used to work here. Okay. Uh, in Lincoln, and uh, every once in a while, I'd stop down there and uh, get a growler fill or something like that, and then I would leave a review like, "Man, eh, the bartender was okay, man, eh, whatever," because it was her. Sure. <laughs> um, but this is my favorite of their We're beers. Fire that girl. Um, I'm just going to read you the back of the can. Kind of has a little thing about their story. Uh, it also is neat because it tells you on here um, where the malt is. And also where the fruit is. So it has like a label, almost like a what you'd see in your car. Okay. So it says, refreshingly tart and fruit forward, kettle sour ale combined with tons of blueberry and lemon. They're not joking. There's a lot of blueberry. Okay. 4.8%. Malt is very low. And fruit is very high. It says, two home brewers love beer, start a brewery, and oh, have you heard this one before? Mm. True. Our story is hardly unique, but our beers are unique in that they are true to style. That's hardly in vogue these days. These guys are very much, I think it probably was a year before they even had like an IPA on. Really? They were like porters and they were like ESBs and like that sort of stuff. Weird. Like traditional style. Um, They have now in the canned lineup uh, an IPA. There's this one. I think they have a wheat beer and there's one other one, Mm -hmm. but I grabbed this one. Right here on the front, there's like a warning. It says, keep cold at all times contains unfermented fruit. Oh, it gets warm. Hmm. This thing will blow up. Yep, and that will be a mess. So, so remember my story about uh, Benson Beer Fest where I was hanging out with Scott Strain. Yeah, and yeah. you had to. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, I remember. Yep, that. yep. <laughs> uh, it, that's when I met these guys for the from Code for the first time. Like, I guess they uh, they've known Scott. Surprise. Sure. Yeah. For a long time, and we spent a ton of time behind their tent. One of the guys and, has a big long red beard. Yep. So I had to I had to check untapped because on my birthday we went out to eat and I thought that maybe I had this one because I knew that I had a, a sour from uh-huh. s- from Code and I knew that it was it was a lemon a berry lemon of some sort. Um, I had I just checked untapped. I had blueberry lemon sour. That's that's, the that's what we should. This is probably pretty close to that. That's so. Is it the same one or is it? Or they have a blueberry because well, it's showing up different. Berry lemon, I yeah. Guess. This one is they call it berry lemon, but uh-huh. it is blueberry. Oh, okay. So it might be the same thing. Okay. So the smell of this is actually more what I would expect from a sour. Yeah, not like a candy. It's like not going to be candy. This no. is going to be actual fruit. So mm. it was one of the reasons I brought it a because it was mentioned in the other Airhead Warheads like flavor profile candies that they had. But then this one will be a little different because it's fruit and not candied fruit. So it's interesting. So Tyler is a hardcore tailgater. Loves Nebraska football, tailgates every game. Like last year was really tough for him, right? Sure. There was no game. You know, just being able to tailgate just wasn't Mm -hmm. there for him. Uh, So he's in Lincoln all the time. So how close is this to the stadium? It's on the east side of downtown. So it's actually kind of like you have to go here on purpose. You're not just going to... Oh. walk there f- hmm. on the way to the stadium. Okay. It's on P Street, and I think it's on like 16th and P maybe. Oh. So it's north of O, a block, mm-hmm. I believe, and yep. then it's on the east side. So uh, it is right by Sorrow Cider, if that oh, makes sense. Yeah. The cider place, And yeah. it's also close, within walking distance to the new place that Kincater bought that yep. makes the booze and spirits and whatever. Mm-hmm. It's their distillery now. Um so it's kind of on the east side, so it's the opposite way. So you could make a couple hours there. You go to the oh, cider yeah. place, you go to Kincaid sure. place, you go here. Yeah. And, and if you wanted to, you could walk down O and, and hit some of those other spots that are there. But Well, and uh, for, for non-Lincolnites, yeah. Nebraska people, O Street in Lincoln is like 
the main the main drag. yes yeah, yeah. And that's where all the bars right. and boiler brewing company and stuff like that is there but mm-hmm. mm. okay yep instantly way different nice lemon like essence of lemon if that makes sense i don't uh-huh. want to get too technical but like it's what you would expect from a beer that has lemon in it but then very berry forward and good sourness too like really good sourness this is the brewery that i don't know maybe a month or two ago i bought a barrel aged um scotch ale from so I never really had one before. Oh, I've never had a barrel aged, and it was amazing. Ale. Really? So when I saw this in in cans, I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna pick it up." Super sour warhead. Okay, so TripAdvisor says artisanal brew works. Uh, clearly, we're not really getting out to any places yet. I mean, mm-hmm. it's, it's getting closer. Uh, only four stars out of in fifteen reviews. So that's like not very many reviews. I, yeah, that's 15. not very many to be the most googled beer. Mm-hmm. You think you'd have? I, you're more not going. People. You're not going to the brewery though. I guess I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Maybe not. I always like to pick out one of the uh, one of my favorites uh, from the like different reviews on okay. there. Uh, so this review said second time in the past year to Saratoga. So second time to this great brewery. Very good beer. Friendly, knowledgeable staff. As soon as COVID nineteen restraints are over, we can enjoy drinking here. Till then, we will buy to go. Yeah, which is the story of our past lives. If this and that might be why they have that mixed four pack availability just right. to have people come in. I don't know. Which is hmm. how they probably ordered it. How Natalie and Tyler ordered this for me for yeah. you know online through. Did it come in like a box or was it? A, were they all ringed up? They were all no, no. It, they they were very well packed. Is Craft Shack? I looked it up. Oh, Craft yep. Shack. You said there's five flavors, right? Five total flavors. Yes. What a marketing move. Right? We sell four packs, but we, but have, we five, have five we flavors. Have five flavors. <laughs> and you can only buy them in four packs. Surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. So, there That's, you go. They, get one on on tap and then take the other four home. You I guess. Do that. So. I, I was gonna mm. do. Let, let's just do one of them on untap because going through each one of yeah. them would be would be difficult. Which one do you want? Do what you want was do? our favorite? I think green apple was green our apple. favorite. Yeah, let's let's do that one. So green apple has three thousand two hundred ninety four check ins. So not nearly as much as you would. Yeah. It was maybe googled a lot, but then did they people actually but buy also, it? I mean, we can't get this Mm-mm. unless you <laughs> do what they did and went unless to one of those ordered. online shipping places. But mm-hmm. three thousand two hundred ninety four check ins. What do you think? Mm, 3.81. I'm going to go 372. 3.36. 3.36. Oh, 3. Yeah. I'm, Interesting. I'm surprised. Huh. Yeah, Here, that's here's weird. Here's their description. This is fun. Imagine green app, Imagine a green apple warhead. Now imagine it's a beer. Drink that beer. You just drank our beer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Short and to the point. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So let's look at Black Cherry, 4,000 check-ins, 362. So that's more. More check-ins and higher. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Blue Raspberry, 5,157 check-ins, 3.60. Lemon, 3.6 huh. on 2,918 so low. check-ins. So way low, low check-ins, but higher rating. Friend of the show, Daniel Chavez, actually checked this in Ooh. back on... On September 16th of 2020. What about the watermelon one? Uh, the watermelon. Watermelon, here you go. 3,817 check-ins, and it's a 3.73. Okay. That's the highest one, I think. Uh, so I good ch- job on picking that one, you know. I guess. Yeah. I checked this in at a 4.25, and my comment was as advertised. Yeah, there so, you go. There you go. What do we think about this code? Uh, oh, I haven't. I, I need to. Oh, here's you need to, you need here's to what I think about. Here. It's... I would not be sad if I ordered this from a brewery. Like this mm-hmm. is a this is a really good sour. If you want if you want a really really good sour, yeah, this is what you're. It's super approachable. It. It's not like puckery. You know, you can't drink it. It's mm-hmm. got real good fruit flavor. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah, I I like it too. Code berry lemon sour. Yep. Uh, Brian, looks like you checked this in once. Uh, Probably at least in, once. At least a few times. I'm gonna say I knew I knew enough to buy it, so I knew I checked yeah. it in. Probably <laughs> checked in at the brewery even. 869 check-ins at a 385. That's pretty good. Uh-huh. Not too bad. Not that, that was not all my check-ins, Dolan. Just, oh, no? I just want, no. Are you sure? I had four or five check-ins, probably. Okay. Mm, uh, well, I don't look. think I had 389. <laughs> you have one, two, three, three. Oh, yeah, see. There you go. Yep. I, I don't think I've ever purposely checked in a beer twice, except for 
obviously like PBR, PBR or sure. cores or something yeah. like that. I've been doubling up lately. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just to see how things have changed, especially if I go back and look and like, okay, I haven't I haven't checked this in since 2019. Yep. Now it's how my pay- taste buds yep. changed. Or That's kind of sometimes yeah. what I do. Yeah. I think I've been on Untap now almost 10 years, so mm. it's getting hard to remember what I have and haven't checked in. Honestly, I mean, I'm I'm at in the you know almost four thousand I think now unique wow. beers. So I may I I have a goal tough. for this year. Oh, on okay. my beer journey, yeah. I may need a liver transplant at the end of it. Yeah, it's but, fine. Uh, so if you want to, you might want to. Uh, could I get your blood type maybe so we can match? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to beat you in number of beers checked in this year. Oh, it is a oh. horrible uphill battle. <laughs> I don't know, man. There's we just no had a way. baby, so I, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> going nowhere. All right. We're not going anywhere for a while. Let's have another beer. <laughs> Thank you for listening to A Beer with Atlas. Special thanks to our brand team for producing the show. Each episode of A Beer with Atlas is powered by Atlas Medstaff, an industry leader in travel healthcare staffing. <laughs>